Anything below here, I'm gonna call, okay? Keep them, keep them clean. Something as trainer Joel Diaz touted to us yesterday. Shot there. Danny Roman in the white. And of course, natural brute power, and he has it in both hands. And Roman's camp. Sneaky left uppercut by Roman before. That was a surprising move by Roman. Against TJ Doherty and Sergio Morocal. Coming out of Aquadelli's camp. Where Danny Roman feels he has a big advantage. A little differently as he recovered from the shoulder injury and a big to pedigree and background from the Olympics. Instead of coming in with a 1-2, he did a 2-1 from that left-handed stance, and that's why... Rear long layoff, 279 days. With atmosphere, Super Bowl weekend, pause in his career. The of that fight really made a difference in that contest. Both fighters were hurt, keen as eight. Now, if you talk to most people in boxing, Big left hand there from Akhmedalia. Thinks that Danny Roman's trainer, Eddie Gonzalez, made sure to point out. He has those heavy hands, and it, it comes from any angle. It's very difficult to... Akhmedalia. If you're wondering why we were asked success that Roman has had against South... Akhmedalia coming forward with the loop and swinging shots. Left Go. hook and Rossi MJ Akhmedalia. Come around, trying for the right hook. I love it when softball's... Unified champion in his eighth fight. Just, just incredible on his part, how gifted he is. That sneaky uppercut there by Daniel Roman. You know, I'll be getting Roman why he's taking this fight. We talked about that title. And Roman said he was expecting Akhmedan. You know, Sergio, I make fun of the belts a lot. Danny Roman, he's, he's looking to counter with good technique. Bates. Roman tries to punch through the mitts. Yeah, you're seeing it right away, Sergio. Who's known for his dancing. See what Danny Roman did right there. Danny he's excited, but he's not overexcited. He feels like other young prospects getting a chance like to be called MJ in part because of his love of my. What time on I mean, he's too good. He's a champion. He will have to catch him off guard. The combinations out of Daniel Roman, and of course, we know that Akhmedalia is a monster. And again, you see some of the, the, the swinging shoulders there of Akhmedalia. Well, he doesn't like Roman for a time something there, but Akhmedalia is so good. Good body shots, because he's getting countered hard to the body by Lee. Bouncing his first name, Maraja. The fighter that knows how to use ring generalship and use the ring, it's the body that you're going to to close the gap, go for the body, and look for the knockout on top. That's when I think well. Right now, back. And again, looking to get to the body. Two really left, left hands to the body that I think Roman said was he wanted to be careful early and then Roman stuck that right hand through the mix. There's not discouraged. On poker face, but he's ready for the counter. He has the speed to catch you off. And here are the hooks coming around the guard of Roman. Going into the round. Wrong with him. Either he's tired or he got hurt a little bit. Given the. Big left hand there as Akhmedali have tried to work through the raises the deeper into the past. Joel Diaz, oh, he, he knew Danny Roman from his fights in Ontario when he was with Roman as a champion. I mean, he knows it's a 6-12-round fight. And strong with both hands. When that fight, he gets with Akhmedali. Roman goes back to that uppercut. And in a late point. From Akhmedali. He came with the straight left hand just to land the straight. Medallia. Pretty much excellent throughout, even the ones the rounds that Danny Roman won. Great right hand. It's actually pretty effective. And you're starting to see more of that lunging. Roman trying to pepper the body. See the force of Akhmedalia's left hand. Big 
shot with the right hand. Daniel Roman Roman trying to get back to that. Big shot to the body to end. That's what I want to see more from from uh, Roper cut. Solid uppercut landed, splitting. Roman, uh, Ryan, I want to see more jabs. In With his extensive amateur career, he has been hurried a lot, wrestled those belts away. Big left hand there. And, and to touch on that, Chris, not only is Alphadalia from those Eastern countries to take fights to early on would be fast track. MJ is in control of the fight, so a little more pressure and body shot. Body from Alphadalia and then a left hand up top. Slipping away from him, but he might be behind on points. Jack, though, you're seeing another level here with Aqua Down. There's some power punches in regard to drug. MJ Akhmedalia, but Akhmedalia came right back knowing that that was a good shot he landed coming back. Here we can see Daniel Ron land that uppercut. That's his best punch. Left uppercut. Yeah, well, it's the great unknown with Aqua Dahlia. Went right to a false kind of punches. Just right now, MJ's a little bit. Who has never been. Oh, this guy's definitely enough time to close the game. That's kind of two athletic things. But see, that's effective work right there. Body shots and uppercuts. But I'll see how oh. Shot cleanly, that would have been devastating. But luckily, luckily for Roman, this is a dangerous position that Danny Roman was in. His arm, right arm was extended. Contest is probably the most possible spot right on that. Opportunity to do that. It's still like it's still that cut, especially if the ice starts swelling. Nice combination there. For the factor, he thinks it's not a, an issue. It's not really swollen, so it should. Yeah, the Akhmedalian cut well below the eye line on the cheek ball level. And again, shooting from that cut that Chris was talking about. See the Akhmedalian with the combination. Not like that I was expecting. Yeah, this is as deep as Akhmedalian has ever been in a... And we're going to see the end of the round. Roman looking for that up. Good shot there. Big left hand. At this point, I thought Aquadalia his last couple of rounds asserted himself. Pick off the shots. He's being aggressive at times. He should be putting the pressure on trying to take this fight to MJ Aquadalia. Trying to punch through it. Stop! 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 I got you. Ryan would find himself in. As Roman goes back to the uppercut, doubles up on this. He's not consistent enough to the fight. Now Roman. Cut was digging down to the body. Where is it? Where is it? James! Roman and Akhmedalia teeing off. A little too late for Danny Roman. This is why a lot of people, a lot of people are more looking at the body. And that he would feel pretty confident with his card standing on the scorecard. Six punch combinations, putting the pressure on him, not letting him breathe. Got him. Ten seconds. Final 10 seconds of the 12th and final round. To the uppercut. It's something big. Akhman Daliyev will come back with four, five, six punches. Backing up. And it was Akhman Daliyev landing shots and not staying there long enough to to let Roman land. And the new unified WBA and IBF Super Bowl. Paying the price. Took the risk, but it wasn't Roman's pedigree.